Gang is all here, Riley, D, and me. Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're at a Walmart. Why though? Because we're gonna get some things that we can cook at our campsite and we have something kind of interesting in mind. We're going to try to cook something that's a little different. We're going to make a meatless taco using something that's a meat substitute. We already have that. D found it here at a Walmart actually. And there are other things that we need now, including some vegan cheese. So let's go inside, do a little shopping. Okay, we managed to find all the things that we need and now we're about to roll out. We're gonna go to our home for the night and uh, then we're gonna get to our cooking in just a little bit. I'm very excited. We're gonna have an all vegan meal. We decided to do vegan tacos. We also have this new salsa that I'm trying out that I picked up whenever we were shopping the other day at Bass Pro. And so this should be a great meal. We picked up some cilantro lime rice, we have some wonderful chips that Dee had shared with us that should be quite tasty. And so everything is now packed up in the van and ready to go. We made it to camp, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out all the things that I need, including my little stove. Okay, to get started today, this is gonna be a group meal. So Dee is actually gonna be cutting up a lot of our ingredients and then I'm gonna be cooking. And so I'm going to get out the Ridge Monkey and also I'm going to get out the windscreen so that we can go ahead and get started. A lot of you have been asking for some vegan recipes and so I have some for you guys. So we're gonna be using the Ridge Monkey Deep Pot today. We're gonna to be putting the handles on here and after we're able to do that, it should be ready to go. This is gonna be pretty easy because we can put all the ingredients into to this pot and then after that we should be able to not only cook them up but also reconstitute that meat substitute and so that way we'll still get that delightful flavor without having all of the actual meat itself now i'm going to go ahead and put the veggies in first because they need to kind of cook down a little bit more and then after they've been cooking for a few moments then we'll add in the seasoning and i don't think we're going to need the entire seasoning packet because the meat already has a little bit of seasoning to it but we'll kind of play it by ear and do it to taste so this part is ready to go. Dee's moving so quickly that um, I haven't even gotten the stove out yet and she's <laughs> almost finished. So this is I'm good though. I'm going to end up sweating down the onions quite a bit until they're almost translucent before we add the meat replacement in. And this is gonna be interesting because this is a plant-based meat that you can buy at Walmart. We found this at other stores as well. So if you are looking for options, this is a good one, especially for van life. The reason why is because unlike regular meats that have to be refrigerated, this can actually be in your van for quite some time without having to be refrigerated and you can just add a little bit at a time if you want a few crumbles or if you're cooking for a group you can do the whole thing and so that is pretty neat and something that I have always enjoyed. Now that all the veggies are in the deep pot, we're going to go ahead and put them on the fire on low and cook them down for a few moments. Now this is gonna cook for a few minutes as we start to sweat out those onions. And then we're gonna add a little bit of this to just the veggie mix and let that cook in all of those flavors. And then we'll add our plant-based meat to it and a little bit of liquid. And that's going to reconstitute it so it becomes more of a liquidy base, which is going to resemble more of a meat. Now, a lot of people are afraid of non-meat meat, plant-based meats. And you don't have to be, it tastes really, really good. It almost tastes exactly like the regular meat. So if you've never tried this before, don't talk about it until you tried it. I have had numerous dishes using plant-based meats and they're really, really good. Now we're already getting started pretty well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tend these and just keep moving it around, letting it really start to take on that almost roasted texture. Meanwhile, while we're cooking our meal, Riley's over here working on building a fire in our little fire ring at camp. And then we're going to go over to this area and this is where we'll spend our evening just enjoying some nice warm glow.
Now it's time for us to add our taco seasoning so that our veggies can just absorb all of that. I'm gonna start out with about half of the packet, I think. Now using the Ridge Monkey, whenever you close it in, what it does is it locks in all of those flavors by keeping it inside and it heats it much faster than a regular pot or pan would because of the way that it's made. So what we're doing right now is we're basically pressurizing all of those veggies so that they absorb all the flavor. Then we're gonna add a tiny bit more water and then we're gonna add our plant-based meat to that. And this is about to be where it gets really, really good. So I'm very excited about this part. who is wondering what this looks like, it looks like this. It's just kind of dehydrated plant-based meat. So it looks like, kind of like Rice Krispies. So in we go. Now we just need to mix and you can see there's all those flavors in there too. So this is going to bring it back to life and fold in those veggies. Now this is a chorizo, so chorizo is traditionally a little bit more red. So this is what it looks like. This shouldn't take but a few minutes to do this. Since we've never had this before, we're not sure how spicy it's gonna be and we just put the taco seasoning, so. It's not quite completely like hydrated yet, so it's a little, it does have a little kick to it. Riley's not gonna love that part, but we have cheese to kind of calm it down just a little bit, but overall not bad. I'm really happy with this. Now, if you are spice intolerant, maybe leave out the taco seasoning that we put in the veggies or use some vegan cheese or some vegan sour cream. We are gonna be using a little bit of that cilantro lime rice, which will absorb some of that flavor, but we're also going to be using the vegan cheese for at least myself and Riley. Now, unfortunately, because Dee has some additional things that she cannot eat, this is not going to be something on her journey, but they do have options. They just didn't have the right kind of cheese that Dee could eat. <gasps> Come on, Walmart, up your game just a little bit. Since that is simmering, Dee is getting our limes ready and we'll be able to squeeze a little bit of lime onto our tacos, which just makes them oh so much better. We're gonna add a little bit of water to the rice to rehydrate it and we'll cook it separate. That way it doesn't absorb all those flavors to kind of dull them down just a little bit so that Riley can have a little bit less spicy taco. Okay, taking this off the fire and setting it on our pot holders so we don't burn the table because you should never set a hot pan of any kind on a campground table because it burns it and then it makes it harder for others to use it. And then we're gonna grab this and put it onto our fire and heat up our rice. Riley, what are you eating? Avocado. Oh. Yeah, that was really good avocado. Do you did a good job in picking avocado? She did. So that's going to be perfect for our tacos. Yeah, hopefully like dull the spice a little bit too. That is if there's avocado left. You look like you're enjoying it. There's another one here. Don't worry. Now the next thing I'm going to do is grab a bowl so we can make our zesty cantina salsa. I found this whenever we were at Bass Pro the other day. Never tried this before. This is a great thing for camping, road trips, and apparently space travel, okay. So apparently if this works out, this could be something that I could use all the time. And I could use this with my mountain houses too to give me a little delightful side dish. So all I need for this is just a regular bowl, some water and this guy. And it's gonna turn into something really tasty that we're going to be using with our vegan chips. But we could also sprinkle a little bit across the top of our tacos and it should just make it extra tasty. The rice is almost finished. So I'm just continuing to stir this until it is completely rehydrated. So into the bowl, I'm going to put this and it says here on the back that in order for this to work, we're going to add just a little bit of water, eight tablespoons to be exact. So this should be 
simple and the thing I liked about this the most was that it could be made in serving sizes so if I didn't want to make the whole thing I wouldn't have to if I'm traveling solo so this is what it looks like it just kind of looks like seasoning in there so up close this is what it looks like there's a few little chunks in there I'm assuming those are little tomatoes I'm not sure though okay apparently one cap is approximately one tablespoon I did learn this And now I'm going to stir it with my rice spoon and see what happens. Looks like it is definitely turning into something very interesting. Okay, Dee is going to be our salsa queen right now. She's going to try this out. Here you go, Dee. You got to tell us what you think. Right. This could be good with all those limes and avocados over there. We made it okay. into a little bit of a looser salsa. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Tastes like salsa. Nice. Little uh, picante. Little that's picante? Good, yeah, but not bad. Nice. So within this brand, I noticed that on the front, you see this little part right here that gives you your heat level. The different ones that they had had different heat levels. I didn't want to get something super spicy because I didn't want Riley to not be able to eat it. They have one that is extremely hot. That's like a red sauce. And then they had one that was a green sauce. I'm probably going to try both of those out in the future now that we kind of know what this is. And so, Salsa Queen. Now it's my turn, guys. I'm going to dig in and just get a little bit. Mm. There was not what I was expecting. Right? The zestiness of it. What is in here? Tomatoes, onion, bell pepper, lime juice, cilantro, salt, garlic, and spices. Not bad. Okay, everything is ready and now it's time to make our plates. I'm oh. very excited about this part of our day. We've been looking forward to this and trying out a vegan meal. And because we have taken a suggestion from you guys, we're trying out something a little bit different that's gonna be absolutely fabulous. Now, Dee is gonna make her plate first and then we'll kind of go through this like a cafeteria style line and it will be awesome. Are you ready for the bite? You can do it! You can do it! Mm. I'm gonna do that. Okay, this is the best I can do. I'm so excited. This is apparently going to be quite spicy, so I'm just gonna spread it around. And I like spice, so I'll be going. We'll just be drinking some water. <laughs> and now some of this. A little cilantro lime in my journey. I'll come over here and I will do cheese next. A vegan cheese. Soy, gluten, lactose, nut, preservative, and dairy free. Then we'll go in with a little bit of salsa. Okay, there we go. And lime. Ooh, we get all that little lime juice in there. And fill it some more. Make it into a little pocket so it doesn't fall out the bottom. <laughs> it's a I little do. gooey on the back because I had some stuff on my plate from our little taste test. We'll just keep rolling it together. Mm. The first bite was delightful. Tyson wants some, but he can't have it. This is a little bit more spicy. Mmm. 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 Realistically, if I didn't know this was not meat, I would think it's meat. It tastes just like regular chorizo. This is good. This is super good and completely and totally plant-based. We are eating vegan today. So will I make this again? Yes. Yes, I will. And uh, the fact that the meat is not real meat, allows it to last longer like we talked about before. So this is a perfect van life dish. 
Now, if you do not like the spices, maybe don't get the habanero tortilla. Maybe just get some regular ones, but you can get all sorts of things. Also look for some vegan sour cream. They do have it. It is delightful. But for now, I'm gonna finish my dinner. And remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. Thanks for your suggestions and send me some more. We'll cook some more food for you guys and uh, I'll eat it. Because mm -mm -mm, this is good.